Hi everyone and welcome to Summer Thursdays with the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum. We are so excited you guys are all here and can't wait to get started. So we're gonna go ahead. All right, so we wanna take a minute to thank our sponsors, the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation for making free family programming this year possible. Today is Musicians Day and we are so excited to get started. All right, so this is our awesome building located in Midtown, Oklahoma City. Um, we absolutely love this building and can't wait until we're open again and can share it with you all. Our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people and every day we work really hard to share those stories. One of our favorite stories is, is that of Mr. Vince Gill who inspired Musicians Day. Vince Gill gave his first public performance at the age of 10. He has received 21 Grammys and 14 Country Music Awards as of last year. That's a lot. Vince Gill has, also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oklahoma has so many wonderful musicians and we love sharing those stories. We can't wait until the building's open again and you can come in and see their portraits, learn their stories, and even see Mr. Charlie Christian's guitar. Well, we love story time and this is a really fun story about why we should never play music right next to the zoo by Mr. John Lithgow. I went to a concert when I was a lad, no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad at a band shell right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat despite all the music and song. All at once, the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, eat each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes and bassoons. Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play. Can you guys imagine a band shell of animals playing all their instruments? The monkeys played fiddle, the bison played bass. The percussions were manned by the camel. A camel playing drums? The Bonneville played oboe, the ferret the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon, the hippo chose the tuba to toot by the light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a super abundance of bestial notes. How crazy is that? As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and those creatures all safely recaptured. But since by the minute I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. He has a snake chilling with him, listening to the band. Look, everyone's just enjoying all of the animals playing. Look at that elephant playing with a, he even has a top hat. They finished and each put his instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. Then each reminisced so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride, my mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear, you better wake up or we're leaving you here. Has he been asleep this whole time? I think he might have been. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict, strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. What a fun story is that? Well, we personally like to play music too and we are so excited to do that today with our next activity. We are going to make our own tambourines out of a paper plate, some pipe cleaners, some bells, and then of course we have to color them so we can make them unique like all, all our own. We're gonna make them here today and I'm gonna go ahead and share what we're gonna do here. I wanna show you guys too that we have an awesome, awesome program for you today. So this afternoon we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have, 
uh, Lucas Ross from the American Banjo Museum join us and he's gonna have all kinds of music for us. But we're gonna go ahead and make our craft. I'm gonna move over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up that craft kit. We're gonna pull everything out. We've got our crayons, our paper plates, our bells. You can't make music without the actual music part, right? All right, and our pipe cleaners. I'm gonna set my craft kit aside. For those of you joining us, we are going to have, uh, you'll need a paper plate. If you don't have a craft kit, this is what you'll need. You'll need a paper plate. You wanna fold it in half and punch six holes through the whole plate all the way around it, all right? We'll need pipe cleaners and bells to attach to the plate and our crowns. The first thing we wanna do though is we wanna color our tambourine because what fun is a tambourine if it's not unique to us? I'm gonna color the outside so that way when I fold it in half, you can see all of my colors. And I think it's easier to color while we, uh, while we before we attach it. So I'm gonna lay it flat and I'm gonna color it and I'm gonna go crazy with my colors. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do it however you want to. You can draw pictures on it or you can just color different, uh, you can draw pictures or you can just color in different ways. I'm gonna color in different ways because I think that sounds like fun. I'm gonna do some shapes in here. All right, and if you don't have crayons or you'd rather use markers, that's fine too. I'm personally a crown person myself, but we all like different things. All right, does anyone play any instruments? I would love to hear about the instruments you guys play. Is anyone a singer? Awesome. All right, we're gonna keep coloring that. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I tend to prefer it when it's a little bit different than everybody else's and unique to me. All right, how's everyone doing? Okay, we're getting there, right? I need to do some work on the other side of my plate, don't I? I have a whole blank spot over there. What color are you guys coloring yours? We're gonna use all the colors. Okay. After we color, after we color our plates, then we're gonna use the pipe cleaners to attach our bells. And then we're gonna be able to make our own band. How fun does that sound? All right. Who's just coloring theirs and who's, just draw who's drawing pictures on them? These are gonna look so good and sound even better. All right, we're getting close, we're almost done. All right, I'm gonna color this last spot green because green's my favorite color. Okay, now that I've got it colored, my tambourine is ready to become a tambourine. So I'm gonna fold it in half just like that, and I'm gonna take my first pipe cleaner, and I'm gonna start right here because I think it might be a little bit easier for me. You wanna thread it through one hole and then the other hole, and we're gonna fold it a little bit up like this so we can hold on to it. And then you're gonna take your bell and thread it through the hole at the top of the bell. All right, and then you wanna take your pipe cleaner. Once you have your bell on there, see how it's on? We don't want it all the way up against the plate because then it won't do quite what it needs to. So you're just gonna twist your pipe cleaner like that and fold it down on one side. Now we have a, just enough noise there from that bell. It'll get lots louder when we have all the bells on. All right, so remember we wanna thread it through. Now that it's together, it'll be a little bit easier. 
So we can thread it through here, just like that. So we're through both sides. Remember, fold it up a little bit so it's easier to work with. We're gonna attach our bell by threading it through just like that. And you can put your bells on the same side or on different sides, however you want to. And then you just wanna twist the pipe cleaner like that. And fold it over. And I fold mine over just because it's a little bit easier for me to work and that then the pipe, then the edge of the pipe cleaner isn't hitting me in the finger. All right. We're gonna keep going here. Okay. Everyone getting their bells on? All right, good work, everybody. Almost done. We've got a couple more. I'm gonna save the edges for the for last, just because I think it might be easier for me. Okay, we are almost there. Remember, we're gonna pull it up a little bit so it's easier to get the bell on, and then just twist that and fold it over. All right, only two more, and then we'll be ready to play our hearts out with our tambourines. Slide that down a little bit more. There we go. And we're gonna twist it. And fold it over just like that. All right, last one. I can already hear it making noise. Oh, I knew these edges would be a little bit harder, but that's okay, we can do it. There we go. And now we have our tambourine made. How fun is that? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for making these awesome crafts with me. And I hope you guys get to play these in a band at your house and play them all around, run around making your own tunes. And we can't wait to do this again with you guys next week for dance day. And we hope to see you all soon.